It was last November that Major League Baseball learned that one of the game's great sluggers was calling it a career at the end of this season. His clutch hitting has been on display for the past 14 years as a member of the Red Sox and for his 20 seasons overall in the big leagues. He ranks 17th on baseball's all-time home run list with 539, and he is 22nd on the all-time RBI list with 1,762, and in both those categories, he has more home runs and RBIs than any designated hitter in the history of the game. He is also a 10-time American League All-Star. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm Oriole Park welcome to the Red Sox designated hitter, David Ortiz. Now, of course, here in Birdland, we have seen David perform and perform well against us probably more times than we'd care to remember. After all, let's see, David, you've had 55 career home runs against the Orioles. And as we began to plan a video to commemorate your tremendous career, we really didn't think it was necessary to relive all those home runs, including two home runs in the series. Then we thought maybe we could have a little fun with you. The former Oriole Brian Mattis, you remember him? Four for 29 against Brian Mattis. Brian Mattis owned David Ortiz. But then we thought you probably wouldn't want to relive that. So instead, we settled on a video that Orioles fans and Red Sox fans can all enjoy. After all, there is perhaps one common bond that we share, and we think this video will appeal to all of us here today. Let's take a look. against the Yanks. Another home run, a two-run blast, and the Red Sox take a 2-0 lead. And he swings and hammers one to right field. Way back it goes. This ball is gone. A home run, David Ortiz. Another home run against the Yankees, and the Red Sox take a 5-0 lead. Series and it's four to nothing Red Sox. 52 home runs against the New York Yankees. Now we don't want to shortchange David. He's actually hit 53 home runs against the Yankees, and we certainly enjoy that as well. Now, David. There's no doubt that you've had so many big hits in your career, but I think it's safe to say that no hit of yours was more destructive than what took place here at Oriole Park. It was July 27, 2013. You and some of your teammates probably remember this. It took place right there behind John Farrell in the visiting team dugout. Let's take a look back on what became a night to remember. And he got him. But Ortiz has been thrown out of the game. Well, that dugout phone took quite a beating that night. And upon replacing it, the Orioles staff, very quick thinking, thought enough to have the phone authenticated by Major League Baseball and tucked away until we might need it again. I'd like to have Adam Jones come out and join us. David, we could think of no more appropriate remembrance for your games at Oriole Park than that very dugout phone that you destroyed in frustration that July evening three years ago.
Now, on a more serious note, David, in honor of your tremendous career, we'd like to help a charity that is closely aligned with your own foundation. It is called the World Pediatric Project. This nonprofit organization founded in Richmond, Virginia, helps link worldwide pediatric surgical, diagnostic, and preventive resources to heal critically ill children in developing countries. And much of the work they do in saving these children's lives is done in your home country of the Dominican Republic. In your name, the Baltimore Orioles organization is donating $10,000 to the World Pediatric Project to help critically ill children. David, once again, we congratulate you on an outstanding career. We wish you all the best in retirement and we hope we see you in October. David Ortiz, everybody, and our thanks to Adam Jones.